Okay, so this is a quick video on how to get out of the App Center into the Walmart MK500 or this is a Motorola symbol Zebra whatever uh, price checker thing you can see it has a barcode here um, so in the normal state you don't have the the SD card reader is not working the USB ODG is also not working there is no active sync enabled so you can do really not much with this um, you have a watchdog of around 5 minutes before this thing uh, reboot itself and try to connect to the server again. So yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is that you can see we have the App Center uh, uh, program here. This um, locks down this thing so you can only run these programs. It's the Calibrate and, and the POS software. Uh, we can exit this, but we need the password, and I don't have it. I have no idea what the password is. Okay, so you can, like, escape this. So, what you can do is, at least in this version of this thing, I don't know if a place to this to other version of, of these things, is open Wi-Fi icon here, and you can see we get a status menu. And we need to get a file dialog. So we can, in this case, we don't have anyone here. So we have a save button here. Click on save, and we get a file manager. Sorry, uh, like a file manager dialog. Or something. So we need to show all the files. So we use this thing, you can see here, to show all the files. Okay, so we close this, and now we can see all the files in the drives. This is like my computer and my PC. So we enter to the application. You can see, let me hide this. And we need to find the startup files. You can see there is all the programs here. Okay, so we have the startup file here. We have three files, the startup.cp, I think it's cpi or something, a cp, that copy files to the RAM uh, file system. The second one runs uh, like a sequence of programs and this is a shortcut that seems to, to be copied to the RAM drive and then run and then do this so we can kill any of this to get access. What we're going to do is kill you the INI file. This is the second in this case. If you don't know which is which, just rename the tree. It's kind of hard to do because the calibration is not perfect. You can see we get a rename. And we get the keyword. We just rename this thing to whatever. 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. We close this and we're done. So I'm going to unplug this thing. I'm plugging it again. And now I'm going to plug in a USB mouse into the OTG port. You can see I have the mouse here. Let's wait it to boot. You can see the cursor is moving. So we get an error here, that's normal. And yeah, why we need the mouse? Because this thing without the startup files has no calibration. So we need to do that. And then this is here, calibration, recalibrate, okay. So now we can use the touch screen. Okay. And now we have touch screen. So now we can do whatever. We can browse the file system. We can plug it in now an SD card and it will appear here without the issue. So we can like install full um, Windows C image and it will work fine. Help has been requested. Yeah, so help with film requested. 
So yeah, thank you for watching.